Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that just finished up another week. I'm pretty pleased. Today in the news, let's start with something that I'm sure most of you already know. But for the few of you who don't, or those of you who need to be reminded, most of what you see on the internet is a lie. For the most part, you only ever see what people want you to see. The more savvy and cunning social media influencers out there have really nailed this down to an art. It's more than just taking 20 or 30 pictures to have the right one for Instagram, you know what I mean? There is a science to this now, and a lot of people get caught up in that because of the whole influencing thing, right? The same goes for TikTok or YouTube or Twitter, where influencers are trying to influence, get you to click a link or like a thing, or for the most part, use themselves the number one commodity of an influencer, sometimes they take it a bit too far. I'll never forget that uh, article I read about influencers hiring out a studio in Los Angeles where they had a, a plane set, and then people would go there, take photos, pretend they were on a private jet, jet setting around the world, but it was all lies, and they did it just for like social media cred. In a similar vein, I remember this couple that I used to follow on Twitter all the time, and they would post back and forth about how much they loved each other for years and years and years, and I would just be like, Man, one day I want a relationship like that. Only for them to later get divorced and post things like, we've been unhappy for years. So all that was a lie? Sure, this isn't everyone. Some people go online and tell the truth so much, they admit to openly wanting to bang a robot. And I still would. But what I'm trying to say is that for the most part, you should be suspicious of all the different things you see online and where people really are coming from and what their intentions are. And if you're wondering, Jesse, what does this have to do with the news? I'm glad you asked. A Guitar Hero player named Shmoomi, who was widely believed to be the best player in the world, racked up achievements and renown doing songs that other players thought impossible. He was doing them faster and better than most players, even claiming community prize money bounties for people who could clear the songs. However, all this changed last December when Shmoomi uploaded a run of the song Nine Patterns of Eternal Pain. Keen-eyed viewers noticed things weren't matching up with his button presses and even the brief appearance of a Windows media player overlay. After initially trying to defend himself, he later apologized for lying and said he faked a few of his videos. However, the internet being the internet would not let it go and soon they discovered he had been cheating on many, many more. Around a hundred videos were fake. Splicing footage, playing at slower speeds and then editing and all sorts of other techniques. Then on the 15th of January, he apologized, deleted all his videos and repaid the community bounties. And yeah, it sucks for the whole community that he did that. But I also feel kind of sad because he was a young dude when he started doing this. And I can only imagine the draw of being accepted into a new group, being very, very popular, having acclaim, having fame, making money. It's an intoxicant. I know a lot of people in this industry who get caught up in that. But I also have to believe that he was afraid of being found out. And that fear probably put him in a cage where he couldn't really enjoy all of his success. And my hope is that moving forward, he learns from this, like all of us have learned from dumb stuff we did when we were young and becomes a better person coming out the other side. I mean, that's my hope. And I hope that for everyone, honestly. And what really sucks is just having to remind yourself that not everything on the internet is as it seems. People have ulterior motives. Things may be done in ways that are deceptive for reasons that we'll never understand. But it also is weird that a dude on the internet is telling you to beware of this stuff through a video. <laughs> I realize it's bizarre. All I'm saying is just be safe out there. You never know what you're gonna see that's gonna make you think like, oh, this person's life's so much better than mine and I suck and oh, this person's better at video games and I suck. Like don't let any of that get to you. As you will learn, most of what you see on the internet is the best version of someone that they've carefully curated for you to see. And this is another example of when that careful curation goes a bit too far. It happens all the time, and I just wanted to put it out there as sort of a, going into this weekend, take some time to think about that. Speaking of looks being deceiving, last night, Ghostwire Tokyo got its first influx of gameplay video, and let me tell you, it was not at all what I expected. 
Ghostwire Tokyo is not your standard horror game. You battle dark entities stalking the streets of Tokyo with ethereal weaving and combat magics. There's RPG elements as well. In fact, many were getting some solid Dishonored vibes. Sneak attacking, stealth gameplay, plus creepy Japanese horror tropes. It looks like it's gonna be wild, but admittedly, totally unexpected style of gameplay. I noticed I didn't see a lot of quick movement aside from the combat, and the tone of the gameplay seems slower and more methodical, but honestly, I'm assuming we didn't see everything the game has, and I'd wager that there's a lot more to it than, than the little bit that we did see, but honestly, I don't know. I guess we'll all find out when the game drops March 25th. And lastly, to wrap up your week, Rockstar's announced that, yeah, a new Grand Theft Auto is coming, which is it's pretty it's pretty great. However, if you're asking, what does that really mean? The same thing as when Bethesda announced a new Elder Scrolls game. Like, you know, it's nice that they're working on it, but we have no we have no real information yet. But hey, it's nice to at least have them acknowledge it. You know what I mean? Thinking about it and knowing it's existing, but being told is altogether something different. So fingers crossed, those are sooner rather than later, but I'm expecting later. Speaking of later, I will see you later next week <laughs> for a new episode of 5-Minute Gaming News. But until Monday, thanks again, and I'll see you then.